Today I'm going to show you how to create this mirror jump scare AI that you may see in some of your favorite horror games. As you can see, the AI only appears when you are looking into the mirror, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Alright, let's set up the project. Now open up your player and we are going to set up the first person. Go into your viewport, select your camera boom, and change the target arm length to zero. Now adjust your camera. Now click on your character, then search in yeah. Now you want to check the box. Now let's create the AI blueprint. Now open that up. Now add your character mesh. Now change these values to negative 90. Now you want to add a box collision. Now scale up your box collision. Now you want to adjust the camera. Now you want to click on the box collision. And then scroll down in the details panel. When the player overlaps with this box collision, it will change the player's camera to the camera that is placed inside of the AI blueprint. Now you want to add a branch. Now you want to get the player controller. Now you want to get the set view target with blend node. When the branch is true, it will change the player's camera. Now you want to change the blend time to a small amount. When the player receives the jump scare, we want to set the time dilation to zero. Now you want to get this delay node. And then you want to destroy the actor. Now you want to find an open area. Now drag your event begin play. Now you want to get the AI move to node. Pawn will be self. Then the target actor will be the player character. Now you want to change the walk speed of the AI. And now you want to add a nav mesh volume. This will allow the AI to navigate within the nav mesh. Now if you press P, you can see the navigation path. I just opened a Discord for our community. It's a welcoming spot to connect, share your journey, ask questions, and just enjoy the game dev grind together. Link is in the description. Now open up the player blueprint. Now we are going to add AI perception to the player. This will allow us to toggle the visibility of the AI if the AI is in sight of the player. Now click on index, then click sense. Now make sure you enable these three settings. Now you want to get this actor has tag node. Now type in this tag. And now you want to break the stimulus. Now if the actor that the player is looking at has this tag, then the branch will be true. And now we are going to check if you are currently sensing the actor. And now you want to get an event begin play. And now you want to get actor of class and then you want to select the AI blueprint. And now you want to promote this into a variable. And now we are going to drag the variable onto the graph. Now that we got the reference to the AI, we want to toggle the visibility of the AI. The visibility on true will be false and the visibility on false will be true. Then now when the player is looking at the AI, we will set the time dilation of the AI to zero. And if the player is not looking at the AI, then we will set the time dilation to 1, which is the normal speed. And now let's copy this tag. But now you want to open up the AI blueprint. But now we are going to paste the tag into the AI blueprint. Click the BP AI. And now you want to search for tag inside of the details panel. Now let's create the material for the mirror. And now open that up and just copy these settings. And now we are just going to add a plane and then add the material to it. And lastly, place your AI into the world. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your thoughts or questions. I'll catch you in the next one.